Hello guys, I'm Willem van der Nucker, coming out of Florida. Um, I'm a Dutch tennis player here at St. Leo University. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of sun in Florida. That's one of the main reasons I chose it. Um, I'm studying economics with a minor in international finance here. And the reason why I chose it is because of the beautiful weather, good tennis program, and because of the good academics. So. In this video, I'm going to show you around my college and my experience, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here we are in one of St. Leo's apartments. Uh, it's one of the nicer apartments on campus. Most likely, uh, when you're second year or third year, you will come in some kind of apartment like this. Uh, typically, an apartment is by yourself, so you have one room and you share it with other roommates that have their own room as well. Um, your room typically consists of a bed, a drawer for your clothes, closet maybe and a study desk to study so in the next slide you're gonna see how it looks like here you see the common room of one of the apartments a little gym inside and a study room so now the things that we're going to do is I'm going to walk around campus a little bit videoing all the facilities that we have right here, uh, tennis courts, um, athletic training room, classrooms, um, yeah, so you will get a little bit of a feel of how it is right here. Um, I hope you enjoy the footage and I'll see you after. So here are our tennis facility. We have eight courts. The boys usually practice on this side, on the left side. See the big sign over there, St. Leo Tennis. And then we have the girls' side over here. Soccer field for practices, beach volleyball. That's also a great thing about a small college is that all the sport teams are kind of close together. So you can see them practice, they can see us practice. So little tennis shed and the famous cow where we get our water from during practice I don't know if it works no, it doesn't work coach's office on the left swimming pool on the right we actually got a national champion last year so that's kind of big uh, here you follow your path down towards the gym everyone has like gym twice or three times a week depending on what your coach says so here you get like personal trainer you follow like a schedule with your team uh, depending if you're in or out of season so yeah let's see if it's open Walking into our athletic building. We are the basketball team. We're practicing right now. Everywhere you see the sign that's so American. Like you see your school's logo everywhere. And this is the Hall of Fame. I believe I have my picture somewhere here. Let's see. Should be somewhere here. So that's also a great thing about America. They honor their students, as you see. Old students, professors, everything. This is the business building of the school. Really good core values of St. Leo. And this is where I have my most of my classes on the second and third floor because I'm studying economics. So this is your typical classroom at St. Leo. Smart boards, chairs. And of course, the palm trees outside. Somewhere here in the library. Usually, I don't go to the library. 
but um, yeah, people come here to study. It has three floors down or some classrooms up. It's more books and everything where people study and come together to study. So yeah, I never came here in like three years because I like to do it on my bed. But yeah, a lot of people come here and you have a great, great view of the lake. So. So our school is located a little bit of outside of Tampa, like 30 to 40 minutes. Um, it can be an advantage or disadvantage depending on what kind of person you are. But for me, it's good. I don't, you don't have much distractions of going to the city every day, uh, but you still have the availability if you have a day off to just drive down, enjoy the city. <laughs> Because there are a lot of things to do, we're kind of 45 minutes away from the beach, so you can organize beach days with your team or with friends outside of your team, of course. Um, but it can also be a disadvantage because there's not much around. So if you don't have the availability of a car or you don't have teammates that have a car, then it becomes a problem because uh, you're kind of stuck. But I've never found it a problem for myself because I have a car and I can go wherever I want. So yeah, that's the, that's the thing that can be a disadvantage for a lot of people. But if you like the rest, if you like to chill out a little bit, then this is the perfect place. So I'm walking towards my favorite spot of the campus and I wanted to talk to you a little bit of my, about my university. Um, my university is like a small campus compared to most of the big universities in America, what you see on TV. Like my college has like 2,500 people on campus. So it's, it's more like a little bit of a little city, um, which for me as a person is very, cool because you get to know a lot of different people you get to know them by your name people stop and talk to you and I think that's a little bit different than if you go to like a big big university with like 50,000 people where you have classrooms of 300 here you have more the personal contact with your professor so that's um that was that is what makes my college stand out to to others um yeah, I'm walking towards my favorite spot of the campus. You can see it. If I can turn the camera, no, I cannot turn the camera. But if you can see, you have a big lake here. So I'll walk over there and make some videos and you can see what the favorite spot of St. Leo is. The cool thing about this place is that right outside the lake, you have a little barbecue place. So what me and my team always used to do is on a Saturday night or something when it's beautiful weather we would go out there just sit there all night enjoying the weather barbecuing I think that's a great thing especially because it's so quiet out here so we're here at Palm Beach Atlantic this weekend to play our first tournament of fall season so in the fall season with tennis you only play tournaments and then in the spring you'll play some just regular season matches. So I wanted to touch base on my team. Um, throughout my four years, my team has always been very international, uh, which I think is a great asset of being in a team in America because you learn so much about different cultures, how different players act on the court. So in any sport, you will see such a great difference between either the country where you're from and any other continent. Um, so yeah, this weekend we're playing some of the top teams in the country in Division 2. Being in a team, I think, is a great thing of America because you right away have like a group of friends that you basically hang out every day with. So you get to know them really fast. They probably have some older people in your team. So then, yeah, they show you around where you where you at, where you at. So yeah. Um, I think that's uh, that's a great thing that America can give you as a athlete in any sport. Let's go. When I say who are we, you say Leo. When I say are you ready, you say Ahu. Who are we? Leo. Leo. Who are we? Leo. Leo. Are you ready? Ahu. Oh. Are you ready? Oh. Yes, it's Saint Leo. Oh. Oh.
one of the questions was why do I think student athletes should go to to college and I think the main reason is that you find yourself in positions or situations where you're not used to if you're in your own country so you learn really quick because you don't have your parents of course really quick to deal with situations that you normally don't deal with so I think your personal experience and the personal development that you get from going to college is so great you get more mature um, so yeah, I think that's the most important thing of getting to college making that step to go out of your house being on your own being social um, talking in a new language and also being emotional in your new language which is important if you're angry if you're happy it's all different so i think that's a big advantage for people that go to go to college and also uh, you get a lot of contacts all over the world so that's a big part of of being in college so i wanted to tell you about my best memory of the united states was about two years ago with my team we were ranked number six i think in the country and back to back we beat the number ones ranked in the team in the country west florida and barry and the week after we got ranked number one and we stayed number one for almost till the end of the season we got a little bit of an unlucky ending but being number one in the country having the number one player in the country and learning from that and experiencing that was one of my best experiences ever so having that team goal and accomplishing it was such a great feeling so i think that was my best experience of being in the united states so that was the tour of sunny florida um thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed uh, to see how my life is um, if you have any questions about studying in the u.s like me you can contact slamstocks at info at slamstocks.com